Hello, my beautifuls. Tawana Michelle here with Live Beautifully Natural. How are you guys doing today? I am back with my second video, y'all, and I'm super excited about it. So what I want to talk to you guys about today is basically what going natural meant for me and how it's about more than hair. And also, I just want to encourage all of you who have not considered wearing your natural hair, um, just to think about it. Based on some of the things that I have to say, maybe you'll be encouraged to do so. I don't have any issues with people who don't wear their natural hair. I'm just saying for me, it was a life-changing experience and it was more, it was about more than hair. So um, let me just start off by saying I don't wear like weaves and things. I always wear my natural hair. Um, I can't say I never did. I, I'm a mature woman now, but when I was younger, let's say maybe in high school, and this is before people were wearing weaves all the time, um, I did wear like maybe a ponytail or something. Um, so I was never really into the weaves and stuff. But let me tell you when I decided to go natural and the reasons that I did. Um, as I said on the last video, that you may or may not have seen, check it out if you haven't. I did start my natural hair journey in 2009. Prior to that, I have been relaxed for a long time. And I wanted to go natural because, you know, like everybody else who had been wearing relaxers for a long time, you saw probably that your hair was getting thin, maybe it was breaking off. I also used to color my hair. And so not only was my hair relaxed, but it was also chemically colored, a honey blonde color I wore for, wore for a long time that I love, 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 love. But I had to give it up for healthy hair. So when I started my journey, it was about the hair. I wanted to grow my hair back. I wanted healthy hair. I wanted thicker hair. Although I have fine hair, it never got really thick. But I just wanted my hair to be as, as beautiful and healthy as it could be on its own. Also around that time, I started feeling just like uncomfortable with myself. I started feeling like I was doing things to make other people happy, doing things to look how other people, I think, expected me to look. I was looking at society standard of beauty and you know, people had straight hair, they had long hair, they may have had lighter hair than me. So I wanted, I guess, to look how I thought I was supposed to look to be considered beautiful. And around 2009, when I started my journey, I started to feel like I wanted to get back to my true self. This revelation came a little bit later. It was really, it was initially about the hair, but in hindsight, I can see that I was in a place where I was wanting to get back to my true self. And so um, I transitioned and I, became probably fully natural in about 2011. It took me a long time because I wasn't chopping off all my hair. But um, when I did, y'all, and I first started wearing my hair in its natural state, the way it grows out of my head, it felt like a spiritual transformation for me. It felt like I had become a new person. It, it felt like that was the be beginning of um, a new journey in my life. Now, many of you may be familiar with the whole, like getting a new haircut when you're going through something or wanting to start over. Sometimes people go through a breakup and they get their haircut or whatever. They get a new job, they get a haircut to go with it. The hair has always signified a starting over a new beginning, a transformation of the hair, let me say that. So I felt that when I first started wearing my hair in its natural state, for the first time in my life, I felt completely comfortable in my own skin. And you would think it would be the opposite because at this time it was it was becoming a little trendy to wear the natural hair, but it wasn't something everybody was doing. It was not the standard of beauty. It's still not, y'all know that. That's why everybody wearing weaves and stuff. Like, no shade to anybody wearing weaves. I don't have a problem with anybody wearing weaves. But I'm talking about the standard of beauty. We have accepted that the standard of beauty is not associated with our hair, with Afro-textured hair, with kinky hair, with curly hair. The standard of beauty is associated with 
long, non-black hair, straighter textured hair. We have bought into that, but I ain't gonna get into that. I'm just talking about what it was like for me. So I finally, for the first time, felt comfortable within my own skin. And um, it felt really good. I, I didn't have to like, you know, some of the things that you used to have to do to keep your hair um, in order, which affected your quality of life, like try to avoid getting it wet, freaking out if, if your hair got rained on, um, not really being able to enjoy the pool and stuff like that, if you just got your hair did. Well, that affects your hair, but it also affects your life. It also affects your quality of life. It also makes you feel like you're not free to live your life the way you want to live your life and to not have to worry about hair all the time. Now, I'm not going to sit here and say natural hair is easy. It doesn't take a lot of work because it does take work. Um, it takes work to, you know, in, in the moment when you doing what you need to do, but it lasts a long time. You don't have to like be flat ironing or straightening every day. But it, I felt more free in my life. I felt more secure with myself. Like I said, I felt more comfortable in my own skin. I felt better about just being true to my ancestors, y'all, being true to my history. So I also became more stronger in my identity as a Black American. I also began to get more connected to and drawn to uh, my African roots. And it just, it just made me feel like a new person. It made me more in touch with my own culture and not so much the culture of the American culture, you know, that we are part of and that I do like and appreciate. But at the same time, I felt like something was missing. You know, I was going through the whole who am I type of phase. And um, I found me, y'all. And it's it's so interesting um, and incredible to me that I found myself through transitioning my hair to its natural state. So I'm telling you guys, if you want to just feel comfortable with yourself and feel free and feel in touch with who you are and your ancestors and not have to worry so much about hair and also to feel beautiful as you naturally are, then consider wearing your hair natural. And I'm not saying don't ever switch it up. Sometimes I do get tired and I'm like, I look the same all the time. I don't wear that many different hairstyles. Maybe that's something I can do, but I don't because I'm not that creative. Um, but yeah, you can wear different hairstyles. You can even wear your weave sometimes. Now, I take it back. I did wear... My daughter put some twist in my hair and it was authentic hair. Um, so I will wear like braids or twists or something like that. But again, for me, I don't feel like I am really deviating from my true self because those are styles that our African ancestors wore. Those are not European um, styles or European hair or European look. This is something that also helps me feel, you know, like I'm being my true self. So I'm just saying, consider it, y'all. Um, and not only for the hair, if you want healthy hair, then you will have healthier hair. But also, you will feel so good about who you are. You will feel so connected to yourself. You will feel so secure with yourself and comfortable in your own skin and not have to worry so much about what other people expect of you, what other people expect you to look like. Now, I do keep up with other types of trends, um, you know, that are appropriate for me, a woman my age. Um, and I do like makeup, as you can see. Um, I think makeup is fun. I think it is um, artistry. I think it enhances natural beauty. And um, hair does the same thing. So I'm not saying you can't add to what you already have. I'm just saying consider it sometimes. Consider just being free with your hair and free with yourself. And honey, you will thank me later. <laughs> so uh, leave a comment down below, y'all, and let me know if you've tried wearing your natural hair, if you already wear your natural hair, if you have, and what that's been like for you. And um, yeah, I'd like to know if it's, changed or led to any changes with you as a person um, spiritually so if you like this video smash that like button y'all
that'll help me out a lot especially since my channel is new and it'll help the algorithm get my channel my videos out to more people and share this video with others especially those who may be interested in hair and fashion and beauty and fun and all that stuff and uh yeah what else i guess that's it <laughs> thanks for watching the video bye